Ladies, gentlemen, Speakerhead Squad, what is going on? It is your boy, Speakerhead, and welcome back to another video. When it comes to the original G1 series, there are a bunch of different characters that I thought were really cool that I still love to this day. And one of my personal favorites from the show was always going to be Reflector. I know the character didn't have much of a major role in the show, but I absolutely loved the character. I just thought it was really cool that it took three robots to combine into one little camera. And for that reason, I always wanted to add a Reflector to my Legend Scale collection. So when I started getting into Legend Scale Transformers, Reflector was one of the first figures I started looking for. And that's when I came across New Age Reflector, so I ended up picking him up. But today we're going to be taking a look at New Age Reflector. No intro time, baby! But before we get into this review, if you enjoy any of this sort of content, make sure to like and subscribe, it really does help me out. Also, friendly reminder that one like equals one pat for my little buddy Doug here. Say hi, Doug. Also, if you enjoy any of the music in this video or just want to support the channel in general, it's all part of my royalty-free music label, Speaker Ed Studios. All the music on this label is completely royalty-free, so go ahead and use it for any of your content creating needs. Finally, I want to mention if you ever want to catch me live, I do stream over at Speaker Ed Live on YouTube. But now that we got all that out of the way, let's get into the review. And of course, to start off the review, let's talk about accessories. So to start off, they come with three different sculpted guns. Two kind of smaller ones and a slightly larger one. All of them have a very nice sculpt and are painted in a nice silver. So then the next accessory they're going to come with is actually going to be a little tiny version of their alt mode. And it does have a little handle so a figure is able to hold this if they'd like. And it has a very nice green and silver paint job on it. Then the final accessory this guy's going to come with is going to be the lens for alt mode. And that's painted in a nice silver with a little bit of red detail. And finally I do want to mention that it does have a little button on top that'll make the front lens flash. I mean I don't understand why it comes from the front because that's not where the flash comes from but it's nice that it's there. So now that we're done talking about accessories, let's talk about the sculpt of these guys. So when it comes to sculpt, I'm only going to be going over two of these guys. The main reflector and one of his minions. And this is because the other two besides the main one are practically identical. The only difference is their backpack and that's for the alt mode. Other than that, they're exactly the same. However, the only notable thing that's different between all three of them is their face sculpt. Each one has a different face sculpt and I personally like this because it adds a little bit of personality to each one. But now let's move on to the rest of the sculpt. So since we talked about the head sculpt already, let's move on to the arms. Now the arm sculpt for these guys isn't the greatest because of the obvious bulge joint that's for the elbow. It is kind of ugly, but I will admit it's probably the ugliest part of any of these figures. But other than that, I think New Age did a good job with arms. But now moving on to the chest sculpt of these guys, I think New Age did an excellent job with this. On the main reflector, I love the zoom that's sculpted on his chest. I think that looks really clean. And there was something about the chest I didn't notice at first. Where the green paint is, there's actually a thin clear piece of plastic that covers that up. I didn't really notice it at first, but after touching the figure a little bit, I realized that I wasn't actually touching the sculpt on the chest. So that is something nice to note that that green paint shouldn't get scratched up at all. But overall, the upper chest sculpt looks great. Moving down the upper waist and legs, nothing crazy to talk about here, but the sculpt in them is very nice. And then finally moving down to the feet, nothing crazy here, but there are some minor details that I do like. Mainly on the front of the legs. So when it comes to the sculpt of these guys, I think that New Age did a pretty good job considering that this is still one of their fairly earlier releases. And the main giveaway is the exposed ball pegs they use for the elbow joints. It's something they did in the past that I'm glad they don't do anymore. But it is something they did on their figures for a bit and I'm glad that they stopped because it just looked ugly. But now that we're done talking about sculpt, let's talk about the paint of these guys. And just as before, we're going to be only talking about the paint on two of these figures. So for the head, it has nice silver paint for the face. Then it has a nice glossy blue for the rest of the head. Moving down to the arms, the only paint that's going to be on them is the little red line on their wrists. Talking about the chest, is going to have that same glossy blue that we talked about earlier. It also has some nice silver paint bordering the upper chest and inside the shoulder pads. And then finally it has that nice shiny green. Moving down to the waist and the lower legs, the only paint there's going to be is that nice blue for the waist. Finally moving down to the legs, the sides and the back are going to be painted that same glossy blue I talked about before. But then the front of the legs are going to have a lighter blue painted on. And then finally it has some nice silver and red painted detail on there as well. But the overall paint job on these guys is fantastic and I personally absolutely love it. I personally love the silver details in the green chest, that just looks fantastic. But now that we're done talking about paint, let's talk about the posability of these guys. And for posability, I'm just going to be talking about one of them because they all have the exact same posability. Starting with the head, it's on a bolt peg on the back of the head that can look almost all the way up, it gets hindered by the backpack. And can look left and right but gets limited by the shoulder pads. Moving to the upper arms, they can go all the way out to the side and all the way around 360 no problem. Talking about the lower arm sensor on ball pegs, they can go a full 360 around, and they can get a pretty good elbow bend more than 90 degrees. Something I will mention is that none of them have a wrist swivel. Moving to the torso, it doesn't have an ab crunch, but it does have a waist swivel. Moving to the legs, they can go all the way forward, all the way back, and all the way out to the side. 
Talking about the knees, it can get about a 90 degree bend. Then finally talking about the feet, they do have an ankle tilt forward partially due to the transformation. And then they have an ankle tilt that can go all the way out to the side. So for the overall posability of these guys, it's actually fairly decent for their size. So now that we're done talking about posability, let's talk about the transformation of these guys. And this is my favorite part. So for the transformation of these guys, I was super excited to finally transform them. Like I said, I always wanted a reflector toy, so I'm super happy that I finally got one. And I gotta say, when it comes to transformation of these guys, it actually is fairly simple. So both the sides transform the exact same way, except they're just mirrored. Which is super helpful when trying to remember how to transform these guys, because it's just straight repetition. And then the middle guy is pretty much the same transformation, just with a few steps different. I'd say the only thing I do forget in this transformation is pulling out the little tabs in the main center guy. Because if you don't fold these tabs out, you can't lock the figure together properly. And also the feet in the back won't properly fold into place. Other than that one thing I forget to do on the occasion, the transformation for these guys is fairly simple. Then finally comes out to a basic but great looking alt mode. So talking about the alt mode of this reflector, I absolutely love it. I think from the front it looks fantastic. And let's be honest, that's usually how you're going to be displaying it anyways. However, from the side and the back, I think they could have cleaned it up a bit better. The side itself looks like a complete mess, but let's be honest, most reflectors look like that. And then the back isn't the cleanest ever, but I do find it funny how you can see the other two reflectors eyes peeking out. I wish there was a better way that those were covered up. And I will mention that New Age does come with a toy accurate version that does come with a little flash that covers one of the heads. And that does help, but the other one is still exposed. But other than those little nitpicks, I really do love the alt mode of this guy. I think the green they chose just looks great on this alt mode. And then I really do love those silvers on it as well. It makes it really pop out from the rest of the figure. But I really do love the alt mode of this guy, even though it is sloppy in some places. But now let's talk about my final thoughts on these guys. And when it comes to my final thoughts, I think that New Age did a great job even though there are some flaws with them. Like I said, the ball joints for the elbows looks pretty ugly and it probably is the worst looking part on this figure. Then there are a couple issues with posability such as the head being slightly limited by the backpack and shoulder pads. But considering the price that these guys are offered at and that you get three of them, I personally have no complaints. They do have really good articulation, their paint job is fantastic, and overall the sculpt in these guys pretty much nails it. Yeah, there could be a couple things that are a little better about them, but I think they'll fit into your collection just fine. They definitely fit into my collection, and I really do want to pick up the toy accurate version so I can have two of them. So when it comes to my recommendation, I highly recommend picking them up because I really enjoy them and I know you will as well. But guys, that's going to be my review on New Age Reflector. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you already have them or if you plan on picking them up. But once again, if you enjoyed this sort of content, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Also, once again, friendly reminder that one like equals one pat for my little buddy, Doug. Finally, once again, if you enjoyed any music in this video or just want to support the channel in general, it's all part of my royalty-free music label, Speaker Ed Studios. Link in description. But that's going to be it for me. I appreciate you checking out the video, and I'll catch all y'all in the next one. Peace.